Hi everyone. For Mixed Media Morsels dessert number nine, I'm going to show you how I've altered a few uh, tea bags. And uh, these will be fun for decorating in your journals or uh, to put on tags or any other way you want to use them really. Um, this one I did sort of in a vintagey uh, sort of a theme. And uh, it was, of course, stained from the tea. And so I left the little tag uh, as it was. And it's kind of nice and stained brown. And I just uh, stenciled a little bit of paint in the background and then stamped on top of it. So uh, real simple, real easy. And um, all I did when I took the tea out of the water was just let the bags dry out with the tea inside. And then I just uh, I cut a very thin, small edge off the bottom and emptied out the tea leaves. So uh, that's how I did that. All right, this one is a different type of tea bag. It's, um, it has not been used in tea. It's a type of little tea bag that you get when you have loose teas. And um, you fill up the, the tea bag here with the loose tea and then fold it over and staple it. And it's a, it's a regular tea bag at that point. But um, I have a few of these on hand. And so I took one and I used, um, I believe the purple color that's on here, I used it, um, I mean, I got the purple on the tea bag from my jelly plate. And uh, then I stenciled a few of these other little colors that you see here uh, on top and uh, stamped this uh, script in white uh, gesso and stamped the little tree on here and colored it in with a micron pen. So uh, I darkened my tree, um, you know, colored in the trunk and I darkened the little birdies um, on the tree. Okay, so I'm just basically leaving the backs of these plain. Um, this is uh, the tag and I gessoed it. I put, you know, two or three coats of gesso just to cover up what was on the, the little tag. And uh, this little bird I stamped on some tissue paper. And then I uh, did the little thing I do with my, um, my water brush and just kind of went around the edge to tear it out. And then I um, used some matte medium and um, adhered it to the tag. Then I just drew in this little leafy branch right here. These turn out really, really cute. And then on the back side, I uh, did the same thing, drew the little branch in, drew a border on, and the words take flight are a, um, a rub on from one of the uh, Tim Holtz remnants, r remnant rubs. And so I thought that was kind of fitting for the bird. So those are the two that I have um, put together and pretty much finished. I consider these done. And I wanted to show you how I create these, how you can create these. And um, so I'm going to take um, a plain one. And um, I'm going to take some, uh, over here off to the side, I have a little craft mat with some um, ivory colored paint. And I've got a little piece of a uh, credit card. And I'm just going to scrape some some paint on. Actually, I want to put down a uh, a piece of some deli paper or something to protect my tabletop here. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're gonna just just scraping on some some gesso, no rhyme or re I'm sorry, some paint, no rhyme or reason. You can also use gesso. Uh, depending on the look you're going for, if you want it to be bright or white. I kind of wanted to keep this in a um, more of a vintage-y tone. Okay, so I'm just um, not necessarily covering the whole thing. I'm just putting some areas on and leaving some areas plain on the tea bag. All right. There we go. All right, so I have this sweet little uh, bird stamp from Hero Arts, and uh, he's just the right size to fit on this tea bag. So I'm going to take some brown stays on ink, 
and I'm going to ink it up and stamp this little birdie onto the tea bag. Okay, just get it centered just about right and go right there. Okay, isn't that adorable? You hold it up so you can see how cute. <laughs> I love this little bird. Okay, and then to add just a little bit of color, I don't want a lot of color because like I said, I'm kind of keeping it a little bit more on the vintage side. I'm gonna take some um, of the archival ink and um, stamp a little bit of leaves up here in this corner. So let me find my stamp. Here it is. Okay. And I'm just going to get the, the tip of this branch. It's not going to be a lot, but it's just a little bit in the corner here. So we'll just kind of go here. And we'll go again here, like so. And then maybe just the end of it. See, maybe here. There we go. Isn't that cute? All right, I'm going to dry that. All right, and the green uh, looks a little bit bright, so I'm just going to, to further make this uh, a little more vintage looking, I'm just going to go ahead and darken uh, around the edges of the uh, tea bag and include that green, which will take down some of the brightness and just give it a little bit of an older look. Okay. And I just think that is adorable. Sweet little, sweet little tea bag with a little birdie image on it. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I'm going to set that one up here. I'll move this. All right, now... The next thing I'm going to show you is the one I did on a round tea bag. Okay, this one is also a little, uh, a little bit vintage. In fact, I think I will put a little bit of this um, distress ink on here too because <clears throat> I haven't done that yet, and it is a vintage, uh, vintage style tea bag. So this one is um, was a green tea bag green tea so it didn't um so it didn't stain you know quite as dark as like a black tea would but um all i did is and i can't, i can't find it now oh yeah here it is i just cut a tiny little slit in the bottom of the bag right next to where the seam is so i just cut a little slit about an inch long here and emptied out all the you know dry tea and then it sort of glues itself back together when you paint or glue or whatever on top of your tea bag. So um, in this case, I added a couple of images from a piece of a napkin. Okay, and I just tore out these little images. Um, I, I did the same thing I did, you know, with my little water brush and go around the edges to tear it out. And I just put these down with some matte medium. And I had put some, I um, uh, guess, I believe it was gesso I put on the background of this one. You can see a little bit of it here in the, um, in the background there. And, um, and that just adds a little bit of discoloration, sort of an old painted look to it. And um, I really like that. So you can use the round tea bags as well. However, these particular round tea bags did not have any little tags, uh, a string and a tag hanging from it. So I took one that I had saved from an, another another tea bag. Excuse me. Uh, and I put a couple of coats of gesso on it. And the reason I did that is because I'm, I'm going to cover this little tag. I've got a little scrap of tissue paper with script on it. And I'm going to cover it. And I wanted to have, you know, the bright... Um, in white in the background so that the color of the tissue shows through, which is a little bit of a cream color. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. I think I'll just use matte medium again. 
because that is what I used on the, um, and this is what I'm talking about. Okay, have some of this in my Amazon store. And I'm just gonna, you know, put it down and, um, let's see, put it up here. Um, put a coating of this on here and then lay the tissue paper down and fold it over and do the other side just to cover the tea bag. Tea bag tag, I mean. <laughs> okay. That is so cute. And it matches so cute with the, the little vintage look to the tea bag. Love it. All right, and I'm gonna add a tiny bit of the Distress Ink. This is vintage photo that I've been using just to darken it up a tiny bit. Kinda like it's old. And, stained and all that good stuff. Add a little bit to the string as well. Here and there. Okay. Alright, and then all I do is put a knot in the end of the um, string. I'm going to just snip off the excess there. And then you want to just find the top of your tea bag. All right. And I'm going to slide this down just a little bit. I'll pull it back up in a minute, but it's easier to hold if you slide the knot down. And I use this little tiny attacher, uh, Tim Holtz tiny attacher, because it's easier for me to use. But you can use a regular staple or two, it doesn't matter. Either or. All right, let me see if I can remember how I did this. Get this on here straight. There we go. Now, sometimes the, yeah, that happened here too. Sometimes the um, staple doesn't go right over the string, right over where the uh, staple bends down. So I had to work it up under there. And then all I do was take a little tiny uh, pliers, <clears throat> like a jewelry um, pliers, and I just kind of squeeze it down on top of it so that it's got a tight pressure on that string. Okay, do the other side too if you want. So it's real nice and snug and it won't, um, it won't slide around, come off. So there we go, we've got the cute little tag along with the vintage style tea bag. Isn't that fun? Okay, um, let's see. The next thing I wanna do is um, sort of similar. Um, I'm going to collage on a tea bag and I'm gonna add some little bits of um, 
just uh, tissue papers, basically, is what these are. Uh, little scraps, again, from my uh, <laughs> scrap bin full of little tiny scraps. And um, I'm just going to you know, put some put some stuff on top of this tea bag. I'm going to squeeze out some collage page over here off, off to the side to dip into. All right, so I'm just going to take the tea bag and... Um, put a little of this down and it does soak into the tea bag so you want to kind of work work a little quickly if you're if you're gonna do something like this it's really fun I highly recommend it because it's real these are real quick and um, simple to do you know just grab your scrap box and start gluing down a little just little itty bitty pieces of stuff you know <laughs> all right let's see I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this one down here Okay. All right, and then over here, I've got um, got a little piece of it was tissue paper, I believe, and it's um, got a stamp on it from a uh, piece of that uh, cross stitch. No, not cross stitch. Um, needlepoint canvas. Yeah, the little plastic needlepoint canvas. So I'm going to attach that like right across here. And these are fun because they're all kind of see-through so you can see the stuff that's underneath which is kind of neat. All right, and here's a piece that's um, got some dots on it. This was a piece of uh, gift wrap tissue paper. I'm going to stick that down here. Okay, and then this one is um, a little bit of uh, music that I stamped on a piece of tissue paper, and it's just, a, like I said, a little leftover piece, so I'm going to put that here. Right here's a little black and white piece from uh, I think this was from a napkin, but it's got um, it was part of a flower I believe I think these are little petals, so that's what that is. And let's see what else. Um, did I have any other bits? Let me reach up here and see. Here we'll put another piece of this gray, the gray dotted stuff up here. Like that. All right, and then I have this little fla uh, flower, <laughs> a little heart that I actually tore off of a package. I, I think it was, I want to say it was a cardboard box, like maybe a shipping box or something. And I tore all the layers off and just kept the real thin, thin papery layer um, that was uh, the very, very top surface. And um, I thought that would be fun to use in some type of collage. So it ends up being on this one. So I'm going to peel this up off of this deli paper. I'm going to lay it over here. I'm going to dry that up real quick. <clears throat> and look at this. A little tiny tab off of a box, a packaging box. And there's some little dots on there. I'm sure some industry has some color coding for their little, for their box packaging. And this is just, like I said, a tab from, um, from a box. You know, you fold in the tabs before they glue it shut. And it's got these cute dots that match my, <laughs> match my picture or my tea bag. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more of this layer torn off here and add those little dots to my tea bag. Got a couple of layers off of there. I don't know if I'll be able to get any more off, but it doesn't matter. I think it's um I think it's enough. It's tearing real easy so it's pretty thin. So I'm just gonna tear the white edges off 
of this little piece. I think it's so cute. I thought it was cute when I saw it. That's why I tore it off and threw it in my box. <laughs> but um, it just looks really cute. I'm not sure which, which way I want it to go. I think I like that way. It's kind of cute there. Let's see, I might try this way too. Let's see. Mm, I think I like that too. I just think it's adorable, so I'm going to add it. Add it to my tea bag. I'm going to use a little bit of heavier glue just to make sure it stays put on the tea bag. And this dries really quickly. This Fabrifix does. Smells pretty strong. <clears throat> it takes a little getting used to, but let's see. Do I want it there? Do I want it there? Mm, I don't know. I kind of like it there, too. There. Alright, we're just going to stick it down. <laughs> it doesn't matter where it goes. It just looks cute on there. So, no need to think too much about it. Okay. So now I'm going to trim off these little edges here. that <clears throat> Bits that stuck out over the edge. Okay. It's just so cute to me, just black and white with a pop of red and just fun. So, um, I had one other thing that I thought was cute. I had tested out a little punch, a little border punch that I have, and I thought that would be really cute along the bottom. Isn't that sweet? So I'm going to put a little bit, um, actually I might just use a glue stick for that because it is so thin. So thin it will, um, it'll work just fine. Let's see how many of those flowers fit here. A little more than four. Go up here so I don't stick my hand in the sticky bits. Okay, so we'll just go right down this way with it. Okay. Hmm. It's just adorable, this little daisy pattern. So cute. I might take it off the edge a little like that. I like that. And I'll trim it. Yep. Love it. Press that down over here and get that excess glue off. And leave that on the paper there. Oh, that is so cute. I really, really like that on there. That looks so cute. That just made it. Okay. Then you can also, you know, paint, put, put some gesso on the tag, you know, paint it solid red. It would be very cute. I'm not going to do that for, uh, at least not right now, not for this video so that it, it won't get too long. But you get the idea that you can glue down um, anything on there or paint it or put uh, another heart or another little uh, cute little embellishment on the on the tag itself, just like I did some of these others. So, I just think that is adorable. I'm going to trim that string, though, right there. There we go. Isn't that the cutest thing? <laughs> Love it. All right. So, in, in, you know, doing the collage and adding these bits and things, it kind of makes these a little sturdier, too. So, that's kind of cool. I love that. I love how that looks. Okay. The next thing, um, I had one more idea. Let's try it with this. Actually, no, let's do another round one. Let's do another round one. This one you can see where I um, had cut this, the little split to empty out the tea leaves. So that's what I did, just kind of cut a little, a little place. And you can glue that down closed uh, if you want to. It really doesn't matter. I just keep it to the back and then um, you don't really see it or anything anyway, so. Okay, but the uh, next thing I wanted to show you is um, that you can cover it with, you can cover the tea bag with some washi tape, okay? I'm gonna use a little bit of, um, probably just like the collage posh, just to um, make sure that the washi tape sticks and stays, stays put.
piece of the red up there. Okay. Now, to get this up off of the paper, <laughs> let's hope that it works. Dries. Yep, I have to pull that one off, but too little, too small. All right, let's move that out of the way and just set this here. Put this one back and uh, see if we can dry that just a little bit to help it along. straight either. There we go. Right, let's do this. <laughs> that one just does not want to stay put because it's too much sticking to everything else and not to that little bit of round tea bag. Okay. Let's try drawing it from the back side. <laughs> Now it's sticking better. That little tiny edge that's not quite covered, I think I'm gonna, um, just gonna use a pit pen here and see if I can color, color that tiny bit of the edge there. There we go. So now we've got this little, cute little round tea bag that's multicolored from the washi tape. And then the next thing I thought I would do on this one, and I haven't tried this, so I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to try stamping this little flower that I like with black ink and see if I can stamp it right in the middle here of this tea bag. I think that would be so cute. The stays on ink should stamp and stay on the uh, surface of the tape there, so I just haven't done this before, stamping on the washi, so... I'm hoping it's going to work, but I don't know for sure, so we're going to find out together. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to stamp it, like, right in the middle of the... Do I want to go to the side? Maybe I do want to go off to the side. Okay. I'm just going to stamp it right off to the side here. I like that. Right there. Is so cute. <laughs> I like that a lot. It's awesome. Okay, so you can see how cute that turns out. I'm trying to find a place that's lit better for you, but isn't that sweet? So cute. All right, I'm going to dry that. I'll dry. And then I'm going to use the Sharpie and um, and make a little uh, border around the edge of the circle. <laughs> that is too cute. All right, now let's see. Got some little letter letter stickers here. I'm thinking I might just spell something like the word fun. All right, and so I'm just like this. Um, let's put that there. That's very cute. Let's see, maybe I want to put it up here. I don't really like that one on top of the blue, so I'm going to try it up here. Let's see. That's kind of 
get. I think it looks better in those places there. Okay, and then take uh, the smaller Sharpie and just kind of go around those. And so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do this off camera, but um, what I'll do is take another one of these little tags um, from uh, a, a different tea bag, and I'll attach this like I did the other one. And um, I was thinking I would uh, paint it out and uh, maybe stamp a tiny flower uh, like this to kind of go along with this flower and just stamp it right on the... Uh, on the little tea tag so anyway guys this is a lot of fun and like I said it's so quick and easy it doesn't take hardly any time at all to do these and so I want to encourage um encourage you guys to uh, create some of these because I mean just in the few minutes I've been sitting here of course these two I did earlier but just in the few minutes I've been sitting here we did four uh, almost I had this one partially done too but look how cute these little tea bags are you can make them like this one in bright happy colors or you can do more vintagey style and uh, the brown of the tea bag itself the stain on it uh, lends itself to the vintage style very very nicely because it everything gets stained so so cool you know so um, I'll probably Probably will add a little bit of white here, um, maybe inside this flower too, just because um, it needs a little pop of white in it, I think, because everything being glued down to the uh, brown color tea bag makes it just a little bit dull, and I would like to see it look a little bit brighter. So uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing what kind of um, tea bag altering you do and um, I'll look forward to seeing those in the Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group. So until the next time, we'll see you soon. Take care everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>